Chris, tough place to come today. Opening day of the season, what were your thoughts? Yeah, I was pleased with many elements of uh, what we did today. Um, obviously, first 20 minutes, I thought we were just a slightly bit nervous with things. Uh, they started really well, as you expect. Obviously, Greg's helped us out a number of times early on. I felt towards the uh, first half, we started to grow into it and um, you know, get on the ball and be a little bit more braver than we were in the early stages of the game. Um, Louis had a great chance from the set piece to equalise, you know, miss the target really. That would have obviously, you know, give us a big lift just before half time. After half time, I thought we were much better, you know, regarding the shape, um, you know, on the transition. We started to look and play a lot more, started to trust each other in possession and the game became very even, I felt, um, you know, and at that point we've had three or four very good situations where we've not hit the target and at that point I think it would have equalised, I think it would have been game on. Then in the latter stages we've just made a, a, another error, you know, um, out of all the possession that they've had, we've been done by a set piece in the first half, which was well worked. And in the second half, we've been the architects of our own downfall with the throwing, which we should have retained it better and then give ourselves an opportunity to go and create another, uh, you know, another chance late on in the game. But overall, I thought our fitness levels were very good. I think that's um, been a continuation of our pre-season, how hard it's been for us. I thought the lads, you know, they made changes very, very quickly because things weren't going right for them. That was a positive time for us, and um, I thought the lads' effort today were class. You know, uh, we've let ourselves down on one or two situations, but overall, you know, I'm, I'm very pleased considering we've not been together too long. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Tuesday. I'm looking forward to the journey home, even though we've lost, and uh, I'm sure it'll bring us closer together, and uh, we'll get back on the horse, as they say, Tuesday. And let's see what we can do against Warrington. So, I mean, we conceded twice, but I think throughout the whole game we look very organised defensively. Is that something you've obviously drilled into the, to the players? It's something that we're working on tirelessly to uh, to help us. I mean, you know, um, we made one or two mistakes certainly in the first half. Thought we were a lot better second half once we got in at half time and, and addressed one or two things. Much better. As I say, we frustrated them for I would say 25 minutes of the second half. Um, as I say, as the game came very very even considering their full time with the fitness levels you know it, it didn't look like that in the second half to be honest so you know i was really pleased with that as i say put a shift in concentration was much better and um at certain situations regarding our organization we we're a lot more structured and solid and that enabled us to give the platform to make the game a lot even and as i say create the moments um you know ozzy raul Aaron all missed the target from good situations where obviously in pre-season they've been in good form and uh, they've not hit the target today. So yeah, plenty of positives and uh, we'll talk about things, lick our wounds and then uh, look forward to Tuesday. So it's always important to, to take your chances but is it even more important when you come to a place like South Shields and you're... I think it's more, every game's the same, you know, it's not whether you're at South Shields Warrington, Matlock, you know, Gainsborough. It's always put important to take your chances when opportunities present themselves. We haven't done so today, but we'll work on that. You know, I have all the confidence for them three to score goals. They've been very good in pre-season. And I'm sure given any opportunity on Tuesday, um, you know, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get off the mark for goals for uh, going forward. Are you still looking at adding to the squad? Is there, is there changes perhaps that you're still looking to, um, to implement? I mean, we're always active. You know, we're always looking to, to see what potentially may be available, may not be available. It's not disrespect to the players. You know, I've got the full confidence in the group that we have. Um, you know, if there's one or two players potentially available who we feel we can help us, then uh, we'll look into it. But at the minute, I'm very pleased with what I've seen so far. And uh, we'll look to build on that, even though we've had a loss. Nobody likes losing. It's best to me. I think that's my first time I've ever lost on the opening day of the season. And... Um, you know, I'll, uh, I'll have a few beers and uh, lick my wounds. Just talk about uh, Tom Miller, obviously we've, you've named him as your, as your captain for your side. Just talk, talk us through 
uh, what your thoughts are behind that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, he's the, you know, the most experienced player we have in the group. You know, 300 league games under his, under his belt. He's the ideal candidate. You know, he's looked up to in training and looked up to in matches with the kind of information that he gives the lad. You know, he's not a shouting and a baller, but when, you know, he does say something in his, in his own manner, he's, um, you know, very, very good. The lad's listening in and they can only learn off him as an individual. So, uh, yeah, for me, it was a no-brainer. And, um, you know, as I said, the lads are looking forward to working under his leadership. So it's a long way to come. We, we did have some fans here, though, that joined us today. What was it well, What would it like to, to see people that have travelled all this way yeah, for us? Yeah, pleasing. You know, they, they've seen, you know, the work that's been going on in pre-season. You know, and um, today we've gone over and shook everybody's hand that's made the journey and shown our appreciation. What we're looking for Tuesday now is a, is a good home crowd. Uh, get the place bouncing, you know, have some uh, singing voice. I thought for, I don't know how many was here today, how many was here today, Tom? You know, watching. The whole the attendance. Attendance wise, no. No. Well, no. no. you know, I thought for large periods of the game, I thought it was really quiet, to be honest, <laughs> considering the amount of people in the place. And I think that's credit to how well we did for large periods of the game. So, uh, yeah, regarding the home fans, I'm hoping for a nice vocal support for the players and to, to help us, uh, you know, uh, with a potential good result on Tuesday.